this is Emily. Today I'm going to be making part one of a three part series about my health and the updates I have on my health. So um, the reason I'm doing three separate videos is because this is going to take me a while to explain all this stuff and um, because I think all of the issues I'm having are all kind of interlocked, they all kind of um, are coming from the same place, and um, I will kind of lead us through how this is all connected as I get through the three videos. So um, in this video, I'm going to start out with talking about the my teeth. Okay, um, I originally created this channel as a way to share my journey with removal of the amalgam out of my teeth. Um, this channel did not start so much as a weight loss uh, channel. It was, to begin with, I really started doing it because I wanted to share what problems I'm having with my filling. Well, anyway, I'm going to put the links that um, to the videos that I've made on this subject. I'm going to put them in the about section of this video that we're that we're <laughs> doing right now. So I've made a few videos about it in the past. And then I got distracted with this whole weight loss thing. <laughs> and that's what I normally talk about now is weight loss. But today I'm going to talk about my teeth and I'm going to give you guys an amalgam update. So I believe this is like my third or my fourth amalgam update. And um, I'm not going to go into great detail about my previous videos. You know, if you're interested, you can just watch them. But I will say that I, um, I found a dentist who is a um, biological holistic dentist. He does not believe in putting silver fillings into a person's mouth. He's completely against it. And, and he specializes in removing the silver fillings. Um, most people don't realize that every time you have a silver filling removed, you could possibly be, uh, well, giving yourself some toxic overload because these silver fillings contain sometimes 15, sometimes 25% mercury, and mercury is toxic to human beings. Um, it is different from the mercury found in fish. There are two separate types of mercury. Really quickly, if you are interested or concerned thinking that you could possibly have mercury poisoning or heavy metal poisoning, you can actually do a heavy metal loading test. You go to a doctor and or a lab and you can do this. So look that up if you're at all concerned. I'm going to say right now, I personally have never had one of these loading tests done. So I cannot prove if I have heavy metal poisoning. But I believe that I have quite a few symptoms that match up with mercury toxicity or mercury overload, toxic overload. And um, I believe I've been suffering from these issues since childhood because I had all of my silver fillings put in at a very young age. My whole childhood is mostly a blur of dental visits. <laughs> That's how I remember it. So, um, I've been doing more and more research into the amalgam fillings as time has gone by. And one source that I've used recently to read up on amalgams and watch video on amalgams is by the people of the Gerson Therapy Institute in San Diego and in Tijuana. And here's a book. One of their books, this book was written by Charlotte Gerson, which is Dr. Gerson's daughter. It's called The Gerson Therapy.
there's a chapter in this book that is about um, all about amalgam or silver fillings. They're called amalgam and they're called silver fillings. And um, um, it's about why it's so toxic to humans to have these in your mouth. And if you are displaying symptoms, you should probably think about getting them removed if you want to. And there's actually um, at least one or two examples in this book of people who have suffered from amalgam or from mercury poisoning from their teeth and had to have all of their fillings removed. And they went through horrific um, symptoms that led them to Gerson that um, told them what was going on so they had these fillings removed. So if I look at the chapter that talks about the, they, at Gerson they don't, um, they don't believe in doing amalgam silver fillings and they don't believe in root canals. Um, read the book if you're interested on why, but they do cite quite a few different books to read and different studies. There's a book called Elements of Danger, Protect Yourself Against the Hazards of Modern Dentistry by Morton Walker, DPM. Um, Dr. Price, Weston Price, he did a bunch of research on it as well. Um, let's see, I know there's more information in here and there's an appendix in here that has um, different sources where you can get information. Okay, I had two fillings removed, two silver fillings removed earlier this year and then I had um, a lot of pain afterwards in my bottom tooth on the right side. So um, my dentist that I go to, he has all of the proper equipment to do this. You need to make sure you go to a dentist who specializes in getting rid of the silver filling safely because when they start drilling on the silver filling, they can actually poison you, poison the dentist, the staff, everyone around you can get mercury poisoning because you're releasing it with that drill. So I go to a dentist who has proper um, tools and equipment to get it out of you as safely as possible. And um, he, I had him take out all these silver fillings on the right side of my mouth. One of them has resulted in a root canal. So I want to be upfront with that. Just because you have these removed doesn't mean you're in the clear. <laughs> um, they may not be able to just put in a white or tooth colored filling and be done with you. You may end up having to get a root canal. And I learned the hard way that is very true. So I ended up having a root canal. Um, at the same time, I was also experiencing a horrific ear infection that wouldn't go away, even with antibiotics, with, um, with my natural remedies I tried. Um, they all kind of just eventually stopped working or didn't work, and I ended up taking antibiotics, and that doesn't work either. So um, I have chronic ear infections. And so this tooth was in pain, I had chronic ear infections, and I totaled my car all like in the same week <laughs> and in the same time period. All these things were happening that were just horrible. And so that made me decide, okay, I'm not going to work on my other silver feelings for a while. So I have three more. I have three more of these silver fillings and they're on the left side of my mouth. And the reason I haven't, there's two reasons I haven't had any more removed this year. One, my dental insurance is maxed out. I used it all on um, fixing my teeth <laughs> this year. So in January, I'm going to go back to the dentist and I'm going to possibly, I'm going to talk about having more of these removed. But 
from now on, I'm not going to have more than one at a time worked on. So I will go in there and have one removed at a time. So I have three left over on the left side of my mouth. One is a molar on the bottom, and that molar has been bothering me for probably six, seven, eight years. It's been hurting for that long. And when they take x-rays, guess what? There's no infection. There appears to be nothing wrong with it, but it does have a really huge filling that's full of the silver filling. And I told my dentist, I think if we take that out, it's gonna result in another root canal. So I might just wanna do that one first thing next year and get it over with. Cause I think my other two teeth that are on the top over here, um, I have, I never experienced any pain or any problems with them. So I think I'll be able to ha just safely have those removed with no issue. So we'll see what happens, but I'm not going to have anything done until January. January is my next cleaning and I will talk about what to do, uh, with my dentist. So, um, if you look, um, if you have any sources or even just Google, what are the symptoms of amalgam mercury poisoning? There are so many symptoms. Um, being poisoned by mercury in your teeth can actually mimic symptoms of multiple sclerosis, of um, autism, of like so many different diseases, illnesses, all kinds of things. Uh, there's a huge list. It can also cause uh, some things that I experience, dyslexia and ADD. I've had those since very young age. Um, you know, since around the age I started to get these silver fillings in my mouth. And I'm not gonna say for sure that the amalgam fillings are caused me to have ADD and dyslexia from a young age, but I think it could have. Who's to say it didn't cause that? Um, I have ringing in my right ear, which is also my ear that I get the ear infections in. I get ringing in my ear so loud that it keeps me up at night. When I, when I lay down at night, um, it gets so loud that it scares me and I think I'm gonna go deaf, you know? And <laughs> it just, it freaks me out and then I can't sleep. So, um, let's see, what else does it cause? Um, mercury poisoning can cause your fingers to turn blue and your nails to turn blue. That does happen to me. My nails sometimes get a blue tint to them, but that can also ca be caused just by getting really cold. Your uh, tint of your nails can turn blue from that as well. Um, so obviously, I'm trying to stay objective about this. <laughs> Um, and also in another video, I'm going to talk about how I keep getting sick and, um, I actually do believe that as I'm losing weight, some of this mercury is being released. So, I would really like to get rid of all these, the last three silver fillings, because I would like to go ahead and detox from it and be done with it. But I'm pretty sure this tooth down here is going to result in a root canal. And root canals have also been linked with cancer. So um, everything's linked with cancer nowadays, right? So I, I would just like to have them removed. But um, I don't know what's worse, the root canal or the amalgam. Um, I don't know. Um, the problem with root canals is it can become infected even when the root is taken out and you can basically be sitting there with an infection in your mouth for years and not even know it. And that has actually happened to me in the past. Many years ago, I had a root canal. I believe I was um, 18 and like four or five years later, I went to the dentist just for my cleaning and they found on an x-ray I had a pocket 
of infection inside of that root canal that came up on the x-ray. I was lucky because most people, the infections aren't going to show up on the x-ray, but for me it did. So that was a failed root canal. You know, I had it removed and cleaned out and the infection went away. So um, I, I don't know what the answer is when it comes to root canals. I mean, what's the alternative? There's not a lot. There's not a lot of alternatives other than don't ever let yourself get to that point. <laughs> um, I just have to be very unlucky uh, with my teeth health. So, um, so there, that was my amalgam update. I do feel that a lot of my issues come from having this toxic uh, mercury in my mouth. I do really feel that a lot of my problems are because of this mercury. I won't know for sure until I have all of the mercury out of my mouth. Um, I actually talked to someone at Gerson and they told me, I talked to them about the amalgam in my mouth and I talked to them about some of the other issues I have that are going to be coming up in my next videos. And they told me that having mercury in your teeth can cause you to have a really hard time losing weight, which right now I'm having a pretty good time losing weight. Uh, but in the past, I always had a really hard time losing weight. <laughs> and um, they told me that my weight loss will not ever be permanent until I get rid of the mercury from my body. Um, as long as it continues to try and poison me, um, then my body will continually try to put on fat to guard my vital organs from the mercury, including my brain, you know, and all my heart and everything. This mercury is toxic, okay, and the body will hold on to fat and it will keep the fat and... Um, the, my weight will always want to go back up as long as I still have something really toxic in me. And so that's their opinion. And, um, I tend to lean towards what the Gerson people are telling me. I, I feel like out of all the sources I've looked at, Gerson is the most trustworthy. So if I want to lose this weight and keep it off, if I want to feel better, if I want to be healthier, I think getting the amal amalgam silver fillings out is probably the best solution to all my problems. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'll solve everything, but I believe it is a step in the right direction and I need to do it. So 2015, I will be making more updates about that, but for now I really don't have anything left to say other than I would sure like to know how I how my body's going to react when I do get this out and do get a chance to really detox it all out. Okay, so goodbye from me and the cat. Thanks for watching.